Welcome to the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Thursday, December 2nd. Over the last one to two weeks, we've seen very little precipitation across the Great Basin, with only some lighter showers in the last seven days over parts of central Idaho into Wyoming. We also had some precipitation in the last two weeks across mainly the far north, but otherwise very dry conditions across Nevada, Utah, and the Arizona Strip, and obviously well below normal precipitation for the time of year. New snowpack has been minimal and new snowfall has been minimal. We have seen the snowpack continue to dwindle in the Sierra and across Utah due to the drier conditions recently. Snowpack has now dropped to well below normal in most areas of the Great Basin, however is above the 60 to 70th percentile over parts of Idaho and Wyoming that had had some recent precipitation. The satellite loop from this morning shows high pressure still dominating much of Nevada and Utah. We do have zonal westerly flow bringing cloud cover to parts of central Idaho, and we will have a system moving in later this weekend into next week, but otherwise warm and dry conditions with light winds under the ridge. So with these lighter winds and dry conditions, dispersion will be poor across all areas of the Great Basin. Mixing heights will be relatively low, and transport winds will be very light, again, under this ridge. So again, poor dispersion region-wide. As we move into Friday, similar conditions with zonal westerly flow up across parts of central Idaho with some light cloud cover, otherwise poor dispersion, light winds, and low mixing heights. Going into Saturday, still somewhat of a similar situation for Nevada and Utah with poor dispersion and dry and warm conditions. Temperatures will remain above normal for the time of year across all areas of the Great Basin. However, on Saturday, we will have a weak disturbance moving across Idaho, which could bring a little bit more wind and also some light showers or clouds, and this might improve the dispersion up in the far north. So again, those winds will be increasing across Idaho and Wyoming, gusting generally in the 20s to low 30s. Certainly could see some higher elevation, stronger winds, especially over the higher terrain of Wyoming and parts of central Idaho. Mixing heights also will improve with this wind in the far north and still remain low to moderate with lighter winds across much of Nevada, Utah, and the Arizona Strip. The forecast clearing index for Utah over the next few days is no surprise that clearing indices will remain low with those lighter winds under the ridge. We will see some improvement on Saturday as that system moves into the north. We'll start to see the higher elevations of the northern Utah mountains and the Uintas up into the northern Wasatch, generally increasing in wind speeds. We will see better clearing indices for those higher elevations. Forecast amounts of precipitation will remain very light. Again, could see some lighter precipitation in the far north, but otherwise no significant precipitation through Saturday. As we go into Sunday, we will start to see a change. That system moves off to the north, so so we will see the winds shift to more of a northwest flow. However, still warm and dry across the area. The next system will move in Sunday night into Monday, and this will provide precipitation to most all areas of the Great Basin, however, still be fairly light, especially over the southern half of the region. But we will see cooler temperatures and also gustier winds, so better dispersion across the area. But some areas could be pretty gusty just over parts of mainly western areas of the Great Basin as that trough moves in. On Tuesday, the trough of low pressure and cold front sweeps through the Great Basin, so we will see precipitation mainly over the eastern half of the region with drier and warmer conditions with northerly flow returning to western areas of the Great Basin. On Wednesday, another system dropping in from the north will bring some moisture to the northern half of the Great Basin, and again, this will likely push south and impact most areas of the Great Basin, even in the far south. However, precipitation amounts certainly quite a bit lighter in the far south than they will be further north. Also, winds will remain breezy, so we will see better dispersion continuing into the middle of next week. Looking at the precipitation from Sunday through Tuesday morning with this next system coming in Sunday night and Monday, you will see obviously uh, quite a few areas seeing at least some light precipitation. Possibly far southern Southern Nevada might be about the only area that may not see quite as much precipitation, but other areas at least higher humidity, cooler temperatures, and lighter periods of precipitation. The better chances of significant precipitation or better chances of some snowfall above the three to six inch mark would be over parts of central and eastern Idaho into Wyoming and also the northern Wasatch. Other areas, again, generally light amounts of precipitation with the snowfall tied to the higher elevations and light showers in the form of rain in the lower elevations. The 8 to 14 day outlook taking us from the early part of December, December 9th through the 15th through the middle of the month, showing warm temperatures and that return to above normal precipitation. 
So once these systems start moving through early next week, likely every three to five days, we'll see a cold front move through, bringing some chances at cooler temperatures and precipitation. So this will be a shift in the weather pattern from what we've seen recently with the very warm and dry conditions. That concludes our webcast for today. Check back on Monday for the latest updates.